Hey guys, today's video I am going to be bringing you another holiday look. This is going to be a really warm gold and copper smoky eye with a nice metallic lip. I was inspired by this photo um, by Brittany Bear Makeup. I don't know if you guys can see it, it might be reflecting a little bit too much. But this has been like all over Pinterest and Instagram. Um, the model is absolutely stunning, but it's a really nice metallic gold eye with a metallic liquid lipstick. So I wanted to recreate it because I really loved it and it was gorgeous. I was like, that is perfect. Plus, I wanted to use my Morphe 35F palette once again because I love it so much. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know it's out of stock right now, but look at these colors. They're so gorgeous. There's so many different tones, um, lots of shimmer, and then the bottom is strictly matte. So it's perfect. Love this palette. I also, of course, wanted to use my new Kylie Cosmetics Metal Liquid Lipstick in this video. So because I didn't have the one that the girl used in the photo, I decided to use this one instead. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so as always, we are going to start by priming our eyes. I'm using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I like to use it on a concealer brush, so I'm just going to start by applying this on the lid and all the way up to my brow bone. So this is just going to help prime our eyes. It gets rid of any discoloration on the lid, which I tend to have a lot of, and it'll help keep the shadows on all day and prevent them from creasing. So I like to go all the way from inner corner up to my brow and just past my tail of my brow because I usually blend my shadows out that way. And then I just like to take my finger and warm the product up and blend it out a little bit better. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using the Morphe 35F palette. So we're going to start with a gold color. I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to be applying this with a flat shader brush. So I haven't set my primer in place because I still want it to be kind of tacky while I apply the lid color on. So starting on the inner corner of my eye, I'm just going to blend it about halfway across my lid. So applying the lid color while the primer is still kind of tacky is good, especially if you have um, more hooded eyes because it'll prevent the shimmery color from transferring into your crease. So next I'm going to just set the crease and the outer corner of my eye using a matte neutral shade. This is Coconut Cream from the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I always use this color and I am running low on it, which makes me really sad. I'm just taking a kind of fluffier brush and I'm going to start working that through my crease and on the outer corner of my eye. I find doing this just helps me to blend my shadows out a lot easier. So we're going to start with the transition shade of course. I am taking this warm brown color. This is a very light color. It kind of reminds me of Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. So I'm going to take it on a E40 blending brush by Sigma. I'm going to start in the outer corner of my eye and then just start working it back and forth in windshield wiper motions into the crease. Most of the smokiness is obviously going to be on the outer corner of the eye, so that's where I'm starting with the product. And then as I get less product on my brush, I'm blending it into the rest of my crease. And I'm going to do a little bit of circular motions as well. I do this all the time. I just find that it helps me to blend my eyeshadows more up and out. For my transition shade, I usually apply about two to three layers depending how dark I want it. This is a little bit more of a darker, smokier look, so I'm going to do three to four today. I'm going to highlight my brow bone next. So we are going to take the second lightest shade in the palette, this one right here. It's kind of like a nice golden kind of champagne color. And I'm just going to take my flat shader brush again. I'm starting right in the arch of my eyebrow and then blending it back towards the tail of my brow and a little bit underneath the front of my brow with a very light hand. And then I like to drag it down so that it meets that transition shade as well. This has a little bit of a frosty shimmer to it, so it's really, really pretty. I'm just gonna go back in one more time with that transition shade just to make sure that we don't just have a stripe of highlight underneath our brow bone. This will just blend that together. So next I'm going to take this darker, warmer brown shade, so it's just a little bit darker than our transition shade that we had applied. I'm going to take it on a MAC 224 brush, so this is a little bit more um, tapered than the E40 by Sigma. So I'm just going to start by 
basically pla placing it in the exact same spot. So in the outer crease and just kind of blending it into the lower outer corner. And then as I get less product on my brush, I'm going to slowly drag it through the crease and blend it up and out. taking my E40 blending brush once again and just blending out that line. We're going to take this color right here on the very edge. It's kind of a coppery brown color and it has a lot of shimmer to it. Again, I'm going to be taking this on a flat shader brush and we are just going to apply this right where in between the gold and where those darker smokier shades start gonna go from like this gold to a copper to those darker colors on the outer corner so it gives that nice pretty gradient effect it's kind of like right in the middle of the eyelid and then just blending it a little bit back and a little bit forward so next we're gonna take this deeper warm brown color I'm gonna use a Mac 217 brush for this color and we are just gonna pack this on the outer corner of the eye to give it that smokiness that we're looking for. So I'm starting just by packing it on in the area that I want it to be the darkest and then I'm going to start blending it up through the crease. And I'm focusing this to not go past that coppery golden color that we had applied. Just keep it right in the outer corner. And of course, just keep blending it until you get the intensity that you want. I'm just going back in with that medium tone brown on my MAC 224 brush and just blending that out even further. So I'm just going to jump off camera for a second to tight line, um, line my upper lash line and put on my false lashes. So to tight line, I'm just using my MAC Black Ice Pro Longwear Pencil. This stays on really, really well. To make a really thin line for my lashes to sit on, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Trooper. So just something black. You could use brown. That would look really nice as well. And then for my lashes, I'm going in with the Sephora Collection Lashes in Flirt. These are super long and pretty. Pretty. I thought they were going to be way too big for my eye shape, but they actually don't look too bad. So I'm going to do that and then I will be right back. Okay, so to finish off the rest of the eyes, we're going to start by highlighting the inner corner. I'm using the exact same color that I had used to apply my brow bone highlight. So I like to focus it right on that inner corner and then bring it up just a little bit so that it blends in with that gold color on the lid. And I'm going to drag it just a little bit underneath my lower lash line. Next, we're going to take that coppery brown color that we had placed in the middle of the lid on a dome shaped brush. This is an E30, I believe, by Sigma. And we're going to run that along the lower lash line. It'll give that nice kind of bronzy effect. And then for the outer corner of the lower lash line, we're going to take that dark color that we had used on the top crease to give that nice smoky definition. And we're just going to run that along kind of the outer half, I would say. And I lost some of that coppery brown in there. So I'm just going to reapply a little bit. I'm gonna take a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Overboard. This is a nice brown metallic liner. And I am just going to line the inner lower lash line, waterline. And of course, to finish off the eyes, we are going to apply a coat of mascara to our lower lashes. This is the MAC Extended Play. This is my favorite for the lower lashes. It has a really skinny brush and it's water and sweat resistant, so it stays on really well. So this is it for the eyes. So 
So for my highlight, I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. People always use, ask me what brush I use for my highlighter and I use the MAC 286 brush. So looks like this. This is the highlighter that they actually used in the photo that I'm referring to. So I'm just going to use this to apply on my cheekbones. And bring it on the apples of my cheeks. And do a little bit on top of my brow and on the center of my forehead on the tip and bridge of my nose. On my cupid's bow and chin. And of course, just go ahead and repeat that on the other side. For my blush, I'm gonna use my Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill face palette, and I am going to be taking the color Amaretto. So just this nice neutral kind of bronzy shade. This is one of my favorite br blushes ever and it just kind of keeps that nice bronzy effect that we're going for with the look. And these are super pigmented so you don't need a lot of product with them. A little bit goes a long way. I like doing my blush after highlight now because then there's not just like a strip of highlight and it, it blends it all together. And just to blend it out a little bit further, I'm gonna take a dual fiber brush by Sigma. This is an F50 brush, and I'm just going to blend my brush, bronzer, bronzer, and highlight all together. So for the lipstick, I don't have the one that she was using in the photo. She is wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Sad Girl Liquid Lipstick, but I do wanna do something in metallic. So I'm gonna use the Kylie Cosmetics Metal Lipstick in Dancer, and this is from the Holiday Collection. I'm just gonna line my lips using a nude lip liner first just to give myself a guideline. So I'm gonna be using MAC Whirl Lip Pencil. This lipstick is a very thin consistency, so I'm gonna go in with one more layer. So that is it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and leave me any comments or suggestions down below on what you would like to see next. I do wanna get two or three more videos up before Christmas next week. Hopefully I can get it. So I just want to say one thing. Um, remember to follow me on my social media. It's linked down below. I think lots of people might be trying to follow me on my personal account, which is just Taylor Shemansky, but I don't really accept people I don't know on that one. So make sure that you're hitting the right one. It's Makeup Taylor with two R's and it'll be at the bottom of the screen here as well as in the description bar. So um, yeah, that is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.